This is a fully working 1A2 reproduction phone system by Greg. Um, I am not quite too sure how you say his company name, Cerise Corporation, possibly. This is a, a reproduction of what used to fill a huge, uh, not a huge cabinet, but a decent sized cabinet. Um, it allows two phone lines and four extensions with the ability to put two of these things together for actually eight extensions and uh, four phone lines. You can actually hook an external ring generator, which this is an old Western Electric one from oh, 1979, I think it says on it. And it will provide the ringing signal for the phones that ring. So I actually have these on my PBX system all as extension 2009. So when you dial it, you can see line two is blinking on all of them. So if I wanted to pick this up, if I was actually going to answer it, I would just press the line that was blinking, pick up the phone, make, you know, listen, do whatever I need to do, hang it up when I'm done, light would go out when it's hung up. Uh, you know, this is another phone line right here. This is line one, this is line two, three and four of my system are not in use because I only have one board. You can actually hook, um, hit this last button, which is an intercom button, and you notice that everybody's light goes on this is if you want to call somebody in the office the beige phone right here is one the one i'm holding right here off hook is two that one's three and that one's four so i can actually sit here if i want to dial one. Oh, there's one buzzing i wanted to dial four there's four buzzing or if i wanted to dial them all they all buzz and I can hang it up and you can see it easily on here. I'm gonna dial them one. Oh, let me go on intercom first. One, two, three. I think it's kind of funny that you can buzz yourself. Four. And zero. And you notice when I have it off hook right here, there's the intercom dialing the little uh, CPU 2 status that little LED is blinking and the little intercom status light is yellow so if I hang it up here you know it's, you know both of them stop if I pick it up it just tells me the intercom part is is actually working and as a diagnostic tool the little LED right here uh, where it says CPU logic typically blinks when you have a power to the board and it's just sitting idle. If I go to line one and pick it up, you'll see that line one is now on. I'm gonna hang it up, go to line two. Oh, you see line two just lit up and I can put line two on hold. And you notice now it's blinking, just like lights blink. So if I wanted to go to line one, Put that one on hold. Both the lights are blinking. And I want to go to intercom and tell somebody that there's a phone call now, everything's on. So anyway, I will build, I have another PC board actually for another one of these. And so I'm gonna try to go ahead and build and uh, daisy chain them. This is the interlink connector up here at the top. You just move all these jumpers right here from where it says primary to secondary and run a little ribbon cable between the interlink connectors. I'm gonna take another one of these nice little boards here and build it, link them together, and now we'll have extensions five through eight, lines three and four, and then I can make every single light on this thing except the whole button light up. Anyway, that's the 1A2 phone system. Thank you so much, Greg. This is a quality piece of work.